Sometimes in Wireshark, you come across data that is actually confidential. And maybe you want to share this file with other people, but you don't want them seeing the confidential information. And sometimes there is a lot of confidential information, like, for example, an IP address that shows up repeatedly throughout the capture. Maybe there is an email. Maybe there is a domain. Who knows? It depends on what you think is confidential. What I'm showing you in this video is a couple techniques to do a mass change of confidential information inside of a capture. Enjoy. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use a tool called TCP Rewrite. It's a very powerful tool and in this particular example, we can see that we're using it to change an IP address inside of a capture from 192.168.1.57 to 192.168.1.62. With our new PCAP that we've just created, we're going to go ahead and open this up and take a look at the difference that we have we have 192.168.1.62, that's perfect. Now the next thing we wanna do is go and take a look at a email in this capture that I wanna change. There's actually a lot of stuff that you can do with the tool TCP Rewrite. I just showed one small piece where I'm changing the IP address, but we can go in there and change all of the information within that capture that are related to that layer. It's awesome. This next piece, I've got an awesome Python script that can do this job. Oh, uh, just, just a second. Hey there, champ. Before you go ahead and talk about that Python script, you, you've seen the analytics. Nobody watches that stuff. So what are you suggesting? Why don't you just go ahead and show them where they can download the script and then show the script running? I think that's going to work a lot better. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. On the screen, you can see the Python script, and I also have a drop down where you can go and download the script if you if you want it. We're gonna go ahead and quit out of Vim. I know. We're gonna run our script here, and we are going to choose our input. We're gonna choose the string that we want to replace, which is that fake email. Choose a new string to replace it with, and then I'm gonna give it a new name for the the output pcap. Let's take a look at the changed data, exactly what we want it to be. Oh, ah, <laughs> well, that was almost a little confusing. Thanks for watching the video. There's a couple other videos on the screen I think you're gonna enjoy and talk to you soon.